welcome back to IndyCar Racing 1. That's right. Do you see anything different? Yeah, I never thought I would return to this game, like, ever again. After all the, the nervous breakdowns I had when I was doing my hardcore season. But now I couldn't resist because I watched a video by GP Labs on a, an app called Loosely Scaling. And this app makes it possible to increase the frame rate on older games. And immediately I, I thought about IndyCar Racing 1 because by default this game has a very very poor frame rate. It's like 15 frames per second and it'll make your eyes bleed and your head hurt and uh, makes makes the experience really really painful but with loosely scaling you can up the the frame rate by four times the original and uh, it, it just makes a huge difference uh, I mean it's not only eye candy but I can now see the AI who tend to check up quite often I, I can judge the distances a lot better and react to the things that the AI do a lot better. It still doesn't make the AI in this game raceable, but it, it's, it, it does make a difference. And uh, obviously the, it, it's, it's, it's way, way smoother. Uh, I will now show you how it looks like originally. This is the original. Oops original frame rate so obviously the difference is is gigantic let's go back to the the oh i can't right now because uh there's traffic let's see if we can pass these guys and get back to using looseless scaling oh a bad understeer but i we made the move And here we are, the loosely scaling back on. And uh, oh boy, it, it, it sure makes a huge difference. So yeah, if, if you like to play IndyCar Racing 1 for some reason, but your eyes start to bleed, I, I think uh, lo using loosely scaling might be worth it. Obviously you can see it's not perfect. There are frame drops sometimes. Apparently the the app gets a little bit confused sometimes because of the very rudimentary graphics and the low FPS uh, that the game has by default. And also you can see the image is a little bit blurry. It's because the, the app is having to do some guesswork uh, between frames. Uh, also, the image looks sometimes a little bit distorted because all the all the all the all the stuff that that's happening in the background. Not going to go into details because I don't know much about the details. You should watch the GP Labs video. But uh, it's it's certainly worth a try. You can buy it on Steam and it, it's not really, I, I think it was very cheap, I don't remember the price. But uh, certainly if you're into retro gaming it's, it's worth, a, worth, worth a try. We are on P15 at the moment, just trying to survive this race. I also tried uh, this app with uh, revs actually and even with revs it it kind of made it a little bit smoother but unfortunately it it crashed with revs i, I think the, the graphics in revs were too rudimentary so the the app didn't quite know what to do and then it got stuck on like one frame but i think this is a perfect game using this app because uh, it, it certainly makes makes a big difference 
and even though it's not perfect, it certainly makes the experience way smoother and nicer. So yeah, I'm not going to return to IndyCar Racing 1, because I know that I'm just going to lose my nerves with the AI. It's the final lap of the race, see if we can... Uh, oh my god, that was close. We, we man uh, uh no 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 poor line in the in the the last turn but here we are race finished we we were 14th so no points for Friedrich Bang for this race had this app been there when I did a hardcore season in IndyCar racing one I I most certainly would have lost uh, used it even even with all the imperfections it is still definitely more playable and more like easier on your eyes but yeah thank you for the blown tire and uh, if you're watching this video on the day when it's released uh, there's going to be a live stream of Grand Prix 4 tomorrow so stay tuned for that we're headed to France for uh, for the French Grand Prix of 2001 with Friedrich Bang, but either way, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next race. Bye bye.